If you have a wedding dress in your closet, I'm asking you to make a very special gift. Please take the time tomorrow and bring your gown here to WUSA 9. Donate it. Here's why. We knew that we weren't going to have much time with him and that his life would be very short, but we chose to just allow um, his life to continue as long as God allowed him to be with us. I tried to enjoy every moment because I didn't know how long it was going to last, but I almost felt like I was kind of a ticking time bomb walking around thinking, when is this going to happen? When is this going to happen? I remember thinking, my son's not going to have anything to wear. I'm not going to have anything to bury him in. About the size of your palm is where a baby would be. I thought this is some way that I can pay it forward and help grieving mothers that are going through the loss of a baby. This gown would be more for a full-term baby. You know the pain of losing a child. I do. Kim Violet saw an idea for infant gowns on Facebook and created Forever Angels of Virginia. Her daughter Jenna donated the first wedding dress. I put it out on my Facebook page and said, is there anyone that would help me to be a seamstress? And then one, two, six came at a time. So then I opened up for more wedding gowns. Then they just came by dozens at a time. Look at that. That is old. <laughs> oh. This I make a lot of gowns. Many women give their wedding dresses in honor of a baby they've lost. Some include letters, photos, even donations. Since 2015, Forever Angels of Virginia has shipped 1,400 gowns to families, hospitals, and the March of Dimes. Volunteer seamstresses cut through tulle, too harsh for baby skin, take apart bows, snip through layers of lace and beading to create one-of-a-kind gowns. It's a bittersweet mission. Our minister will say a prayer for the families and the deceased babies and bless the gowns. Knowing that I did something that worked for them and made them happy makes me feel good. They're really for a sacred purpose. I'll just sit there and listen to it and close my eyes and, and just think about him in heaven. My doula, Jillian, came in and she said, I'm sorry I'm late, but I have a present for you. <laughs> And here she comes with these beautiful gowns. There was a peace with it because I, as a mom, I wanted to do everything that I could for my son. Providing something that he could, the only outfit that he was ever going to wear. Um, that was very, very important. <laughs> 